wow, wow. Praise the Lord. Hey, praise the living God. Guys, 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 we are already fired up. Wow, 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 wow. Praise the living God. Yes. Hallelujah. You may take your seat. Wow, I like this uh, fire. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Wow, wow. Are you ready? I mean, ready, ready, ready. God has something for us. And if you're here and you're here to just chill and just to listen and go home, that is your problem. But for the ones that are here to receive, God is going to touch us. I'm, I'm also part of it. Hallelujah. Okay. I thank God for this wonderful day. It's been, I think, a year since I preached and uh, I had a baby. And uh, yeah, just praise God for that. God is good. God is good. Amen. I also would like to thank uh, our pastor. Pastor John and Pastora Grace, um, yeah, we all know they're wonderful people. They're doing amazing things in the church, and even though they're not here, let's just give it up for them. God bless them so much. Amen. And also, yeah, uh, presiding elder, my own brother, my own sister, Deaconess Naomi, let's give it up for them. Harvest City Church. Yes, they're doing, like, there's a lot of things you don't see, but behind the scenes, they're doing a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. And we don't have to see it. God sees everything. Amen? But God bless you so much. Really appreciate you so much. Amen. And, uh, of course, I can't leave out my husband. <laughs> yes. The head of our household. He's such a wonderful man. Yeah. He's, he's just amazing. God bless you. God bless you. All right, let's pray. Let's bow down our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today, oh God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Father, Lord God, we are here before your throne. Lord, I pray and I commit myself into your hands, oh God. I commit my mind, my body, my soul, my spirit, everything into your hands, Father. May you use me as a vessel today, Father. May you speak through me today, O oh God. May you anoint my lips, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's praise God. Amen. Okay. So we all know the theme of the month is? Hey. The theme of the month is? The promise of God. The promise of God. Okay, let's read uh, Galatians chapter 3, verse 16, the anchor verse. Galatians chapter 3, verse 16, and I read in Jesus' name. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. And he does not say, and to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to your seed, who is Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's also read Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, to see what some of the promises are that God made to Abraham. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, and I read in Jesus' name. Yes. Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and, you'll, and you shall be a blessing. Amen. God bless you so much. And the last one, Genesis chapter 22, verse 16 to 18, please. Genesis chapter 22, verse 16 to 18, I read in Jesus' name. And said, by myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Amen. Amen. I can hear my baby crying, but the devil's a liar. I will preach today. Amen. Yes. So before we continue, let's first look at the word promise. Yeah? So I looked it up, and it just simply put an assurance that someone will definitely do something or that a particular thing will happen. And then another definition was 
uh, a promise is also an, an oral or a written agreement to do or not to do something. Just simple, heel simpel gezegd. Yeah? So I have a question for, for you. Please raise up your hand if you've ever made a promise to someone. Yeah, I think everyone, yeah. Okay. Another question. Please raise up your hand if you've ever broken a promise. Eish. Okay. Yeah, okay. Please raise your hand if someone else broke their promise made by you. Dus iemand heeft een belofte verbroken die jullie samen hadden. Is het, is het je ooit aangedaan? Ja. Yeah. Did someone do it to you? Ja. Yeah. Oh, sorry, hè. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's painful. Yeah. I can definitely relate. Um, when I was, was in a secondary school, a long time ago, I remember um, there was this particular day I had to do a test. Well, I didn't know. So I arrived at school and um, I saw everyone like panicking. Heb je geleerd? Heb je geleerd? And I was like, um, why? I don't know. We don't have a test today, right? And they were like, yes, we have math today. We have math. And I was so bad at math. So I was starting to panic and stressing out. And then uh, I remember this girl in our class. I'm not going to mention her name, but she was really smart and she always had good grades. So I thought, okay, let me just go up to her and ask for her help. So I went up to her and I said, hey, you got it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you have all the good cybers, you need to help me today, because I didn't study for my test. So let's just make an exchange. You help me with the answers and I'll buy something for you for lunch. <laughs> Sounds fair, right? Yeah, so she, she was like, okay, good. Uh, and I said, do you promise? And she was like, yeah, I believe it, I promise. So then I calmed down, I was like, yes, I will nail this test because she never had bad grades. So I was like, okay, we are going to do this. So then the teacher called us in the classroom and then we sat down at the back of the classroom. She sat here, I was sitting here and the teacher was handing out the test and I was like, bring it on, we are, we are doing this. So then we start writing and I was like, okay, it was a multiple choice test by the way. So it was like, if it's A, you do this. If it's B, you do this. Like, we, we just came up with certain things, yeah? So then, when we were starting to write, well, she was writing, and I was like, ah, are you going to give me some signs or what's going on here? And she was just ignoring me. She's like, ah, what is this? We just had an agreement. You will give me the answers and I will buy you food. How you can say, you cannot say no to food, right? So then, she just, completely ignored me and I was so angry I was so angry I was like why is she doing this because she's so she was such a sweet girl and I, I wasn't expecting this from her so then after the, the test we went out and I was like what was that about w what was that she was like yeah I changed my mind <laughs> what you changed your mind wow yeah people are saying wow but that is how people are we promise things. Ja, ik ga dit echt voor je doen. Ik beloof het. Ik beloof het. We gebruiken het alsof het gewoon normaal is. Ik beloof het. Of je zegt, ja, ik, ik bel je echt. Ik ga je echt terugbellen. Maar je gaat helemaal niet terugbellen. You're going to sleep. You know it's not true. What I'm trying to say is, let's look at the word of God. What is God saying? Let's read Psalm 118, verse 8. Psalms 118, chapter 118. Verse 8, and I read in Jesus' name. Amen. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, it's clear. I'm not saying don't trust people at all. That's not what I'm saying. You can trust people. That's fine. But don't put all your trust in man. Because people will fail you. Yes, it's true. I've failed people before. I think we all have. Don't put all your trust in God. But there's one person... Ha! There is one person. When he says something, you better believe. When he says something, you better believe. Tell your neighbor, you better believe. Say it like you mean it, you better believe. Amen. And his name is Jesus Christ. Ah, Jesus Christ. Let's praise him. Hallelujah. Yes. 
I don't know if someone knows how to sing this song, but he has promised. Can someone help me? He will never fail. Yes. Ah. I will adore him. I will adore him. He has promised. Yes. Ah. He will never fail. Always oh, faithfulness. Ah. He is forevermore. Ah. He is faithfulness. He is forevermore. Oh, it's faithfulness. Ah, Lord. He is forevermore. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yeah, I wasn't planning to sing, but the Holy Spirit is flowing, so I have to go. Hallelujah. So, yeah, I just want to say for us as children of God, we are representatives of Christ, so we don't have to make empty promises. Don't think it's just something we say. We all know that when we speak, it's, it's power. Yeah? When we speak, it creates something. Yeah? The whole earth was created by God speaking. So because of we are the children of God, when we speak, we also create things. Amen? So tell your neighbor, be real. Yeah, be real. Amen. Okay, let's read um, Matthew chapter 5, verse 37. Matthew chapter 5, verse 37, and I read in Jesus' name. Amen. But let your yes be yes, and your no, no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Amen. Amen. Yeah, maybe you have never thought about this, but when you say something, you know that you're not going to do it. It's from the evil one. And we are children of God. So please, let's, let's be mindful of that. When we say something, let's mean it. Yeah? Amen. Okay. Um, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that from now on, our yes will be yes and our no will be no. So that when we say something, people will listen to us. Amen. I just want to take us to the book of Psalms, 105, verse 8 and 9. Psalms chapter 105, verse 8 to 9, and I read in Jesus' name. He remembers his covenant forever, the word, the word which he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath to Isaac. Amen. Amen. So we just read the promises that God made uh, to Abraham, and by faith we are all children of Abraham. Yeah, because, um, yeah, we all know that, God told Abraham to sacrifice, to bring his own son Isaac as a sacrifice. And I, I have to be honest, if, if someone asked me to do such a thing, I would, I would think, no, this, this, I mean, how can I bring my child as an offering? I mean, I would doubt if it was from God. We've heard this story all over again. But I just want to say that whenever God tells you to do something, do it. I'm speaking from experience. Like, if God tells you, go there, go there. Because the way God works, you have to pass tests. Yeah? It's, it's like, okay, when he tells you to go there and you choose to go right instead of left, then you have to take the test all over again until you pass. Yeah? And then when you pass, you promote. He will pr promote you. Yeah? Can God trust you to, to, to do his will? Ask your neighbor, can God trust you? Yeah, because the gifts that he has given you, yes, you can sing well. Yes, you can preach. But what are you doing with it? Yeah, yeah. I'm also, I'm also preaching to myself, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So let's, let's really be careful, yeah? Um, and then also, I already mentioned that our God, he never fails. 
Whenever he says something, he will do it. And the, the Bible is full of promises from Genesis until Revelation. He keeps on promising uh, um, things and everything that he says is true. So I already mentioned that he's a confident keeping God. We just read it in Psalms 105 verse 9. Now he also said something in Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. And I read in Jesus' Amen. name. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do? Or has he spoken and will he not make it good? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Yeah, so God, he's not a man that he can lie. Let, let's be honest, we've lied before. Sommige mensen, hun hobby is gewoon liegen. Yeah, I don't know. You don't, you don't have to lie. Like, some leugeltje voor eigen best wil. Like, what, where, who, who, I don't mean why. Leugen is leugen. A lie is a lie. Don't think, oh, it's just a small lie. So God, God doesn't mind. He, he does mind. Because he said, lying is a sin. Sorry, I, I know it, it doesn't sound nice, but it's the truth. Yeah? But God, God doesn't lie. He can't lie. So if he, to he told you that you are going to be great, and he did, you will be great. Matter of fact, you are great. Praise God. Yes. Amen. So then, he's a God that keeps confidence. He's a God that cannot lie. He's a God that keeps promises. Yeah? All of his promises, not a, a few or two of them. Yeah? So... He's also a God, the same yesterday, today, and forever. That is amazing to me because we always change. We always, like, if you ask me how I was last year, I was a complete different person. Okay, maybe five years ago. Yeah, yeah last year is a bit, okay. But, I mean, five years ago. <laughs> yeah. Some people know me from uh, uh, Pentecost, PIWC. I see a few people who went there. Uh, I think... Yeah, when I was 18 or 19, if you saw how I came to church, guys, like what I was wearing, like it was different. <laughs> yeah, I'm not judging, but I mean, we all change. Change is good, by the way. Yeah, I mean, God wants us to change for the better. Yeah, to look more like him. Amen. Yeah, but God doesn't change. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Time will not permit me to tell all the promises and how God is and, you know, what he has promised us. But just believe that when you open up the Bible, it's full of good things. Amen. Maybe your friend has let you down. Yeah. Or maybe your mother has let you down. But you always go outside, put a smile on your face like nothing happened. But actually, your relationship with your mother is not the best. It's painful. I know, it's painful. Or maybe your baby daddy. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's go there. Pastor Joe will say, oh, for signing. Can I go there? <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's, it, it happens. Yeah? People go through stuff. It's real. Yeah? People have pain. It's real. But let me tell you something. God is realer. Yeah. Those things that you are going through, yes, it's painful. But God says, come to me. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. It's not a fairy tale. It's real. Amen? When I first got married, um, I had this problem. And it was, um, let me just call it independent issues. Like, I was so used to doing things on my own. I was so used to, yeah, carrying heavy things and, you know, doing things that you have to do when you're alone, right? And then when I met my husband and we got married, he, my, my grandmother, may her soul rest in peace, she really, really raised him, right? He, he really treats me like a queen. Let's give it up for my husband. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. But yeah, we had serious issues. It was really serious because he was always trying to help me. And I was like, yeah, I can't do it myself. Um, I, I, I do it well. I was like, he said, no, relax. I'm here. I will do it for you. And then I was like, okay. It really took, took a while for me to, 
you know, let it go because I was so used to doing things on my own and making my own money. And I believe a lot of women are like that. I'm not saying that don't make your own money. That is really good. Be independent. Yeah. But for the married people and soon to be married people, remember. <laughs> yes, my sister. <laughs> yeah. Remember that uh, um, it, it's good to be, I mean, strong, but you don't have to be strong all the time. Yeah. And with God, with God. He's telling us today, you don't have to do it by yourself. You don't have to do it on your own. Because if you tell God, God, I believe that you are my God. I will trust you in every situation. But then you come up with a plan B or a plan C or other backup plan. That is actually saying, God, you know what? I know you're God, but I will try to help you because I don't think you are capable to handle the situation. That is actually an insult, isn't it? Because we say, God, you are my everything. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. You have done it before, so you will also do it for me. But then you are thinking of how to come up with other solutions. Let's stop that. I'm also doing it sometimes because we become fearful. What if it doesn't work? God told me to quit my job. It was really hard for me because I've, been, I've always been someone that worked hard and, you know, was also hustling and doing things. But then God told me, no, you have to quit your job. It's hard to do the will of God sometimes. But I can tell you, he is faithful. He is faithful. Amen? Okay. So let's read John chapter 15, verse 5 and 7. John chapter 15, verse 5 and 7, and I read in yeah. Jesus' name. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. Amen. For without me, you can do nothing. If Amen. I Amen. Yeah. If you want to grow in the spirit, if you want to, uh, I mean, um, be successful in life, you have to be in God and stay in him. So not today, yes, I will do this for you, God. And tomorrow something happens and you're like, yeah, dag, ik ga echt iets verzinnen nu hoor, want dit gaat niet. No, God is looking for consistency from us too. We are always asking things, but what about you? What about me? What about us? He also wants to trust us with things. But then, as I mentioned earlier, if you don't pass the test, you have to keep doing it all over again. Over and over again until you pass and you know you're strong and in the spirit. So my advice or the Bible is saying, be in him, abide in him, and he will also abide in you. Amen. And the next one is, we cannot read them all, but First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, please. First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, and I read in Jesus' name. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Amen. Amen. Psalm uh, 55, 55, verse 22. That's the last one because there's a lot. 55, verse 22. Psalm 50, chapter 55, verse 22, and I read in Jesus' name. Yes. Cast your burden on the, on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Amen. Amen. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty clear. Cast all your burdens on him. You don't have to carry it by yourself. You don't have to act as if everything is fine if you're not. But then you don't have to tell your promise to everyone, but just go straight to God. He is saying, come to me and cast all your burdens. You've been crying and crying and crying. I know it's normal. We're human beings, but crying and praying, please. Not only crying. And when you are crying, don't say, why, God, why? No. Just ask God for help. God, what shall I do in this situation? God, I don't know what to do anymore. I, am, I, 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 I don't know. I need your help, Father. Show me the way, oh God. And not crying and crying. Then, uh, waarom ik? Why? Waarom? Nee. It's, why? Wie anders dan? Yeah? No, I'm not saying that well, what you're going through is good, but everything works together for your good. Amen? Yeah, hij gebruikt alles om het mooier te maken voor jou. So that when you come out of that situation, you will also help someone else in that situation. Amen? Amen. Yeah. We zijn niet zielig. We zijn niet zielig. Ja? 
We are great in the spirit. And when people see us, we are children of God. Yeah? And when the devil comes, he will always, always try to keep you down. He will always try to remind you of your past. But then when he comes, you say, shh. Yeah? Because I know who I am in Christ. My identity is in Christ. I am a king. I am a queen. I am the righteousness of God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. 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 Today is the day. We are not doing this anymore. No. Because the promises of God are yes and amen. Come on now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when I say rest, I don't mean sleep all day. That's not what I mean. <laughs> don't take it too literally. I mean sleep. Yeah, sleep is good because when you sleep, you dream and you have visions. That is very, very good. But when I say rest, I mean don't worry. It sounds so cliche, I know, but it's true. Don't worry. Because when you say, okay, today I decide because it's a decision that you make. I'm not going to worry. Nee, ik ga het niet doen. Want waar heeft het mij gebracht? What did worry do to help you? Iemand, iemand, help me. It makes you sick. It makes you timid. It, 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 it causes you to sit in the back. It's like you, you're, not, you're not even part of things. But that is not what God has called you for. Called us for. Yeah? So today is going to be a new day. As God is speaking through me to us. Today we are not doing those things anymore. We are not running away from God's calling anymore. We are going to do God's will. We are going to, uh, to speak his word. We are going to speak his promises. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give God praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, some people will say, yeah, what if it doesn't work? This whole God thing. You know, I see people on TikTok dancing and screaming. And, but what if it doesn't work? Or maybe I tried and it didn't work. Yeah. How long have you tried? One day? Because so works it not. Yeah? It will work. It will work. Hallelujah. And the it factor is the promise. And the promise is Jesus. And Jesus is working on our behalf. So he is changing our situations. While we are listening to this word, things are changing. And that's only for the people who are, who are receiving this word right now. Don't think I'm just standing here. Don't look at me. I mean, you need, you need to look at me. But listen to, <laughs> listen to what I'm saying because it's God speaking, not me. Yeah? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I love that. God bless you. God bless you. And then you, you may also say, okay, you weet niet wat ik heb gedaan in het verleden. You don't know what I did in the past. No, I don't. And I, I don't even need to know. God knows everything. Yeah? But he's not interested in your past. Let's be honest. He, he, he doesn't care. He's interested in now and the future. Weet je wat ik heb gedaan? Do you know what I've done? No, but I know what Jesus did. He died on the cross for you and I. And that is the most important thing. Yeah? So because of that, there is no condemnation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Oh, I love that one. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed. Behold, all things have passed become new so it doesn't matter what you've done yesterday or maybe a year ago or maybe two years even a minute ago if you decide right now that i'm not going back he's ready to accept you he's ready he's ready to 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 hold your hand it, it doesn't matter yeah he loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son to die for you and i he says, my child, I'm here. Don't listen to those people. People will always talk. People will always look down on you. But God always sees the best in us. He doesn't look at what you've done, but he knows what is going to happen in the future. And that are great things. Because he's going to use each one of us. Maybe you don't believe it right now. But if you just let yourself 
go. You, you just avail yourself for him. He's going to use you. And then today, over a year, you will say, whoa, God is good. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, okay, um, how do we enjoy the promise of God? First thing is, you need to accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. Because all the things that I'm saying right now, and you're not, you're not a Christian, I'm sorry, you're not part of it. So the first step you need to take is you give your life to Christ. Amen? Without Jesus, there is no life. Without Jesus, you cannot make it. I know people in the world are making it. It seems like they're making it. But at the end, where are they going? Mm, yes. You don't have to be perfect, as I just mentioned. He makes you perfect. Yeah? And then the second thing is you need to obey him. I already mentioned that my Holy Spirit was keep, he keep, kept on saying, obey him, obey him, obey him. So once you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, the second step is also to obey him. Because the Holy Spirit will come and live inside of you. But then if you don't listen to that voice, what are we doing? Because he has plans for us. He wants to take us somewhere. There are people perishing, souls perishing in the world. And he needs to use us to win those souls. Amen? So that when we, we are always ready for him, when he's talking to us, my daughter, I need you to call this person because she's about to commit suicide. Then you get up, you pick up your phone, and you're like, sister, I don't know what you're going through. But the Holy Spirit just told me, don't do it. And then that person will like, whoa, so God does exist. It's not about us, guys. It's not about us. This, what we are doing, is not about us. We are saved now. Yeah? If you've accepted Jesus Christ, you're saved. But then he, he needs more from us. He wants to use us. He wants to use us. Don't run away. Don't run away from God's uh, um, uh, calling. He sees the bigger picture. Amen? Okay. And then I also want us to know that God never tempts us. He only tests us. Yeah? Temptation is from the devil. Remember that. Temptation for lighting a coma from the devil and test the coma from the hair. Amen? So don't also put yourself in temptation if you know that God has said don't go there and you're like yeah I'm strong in the spirit I can do this no don't do it don't do it it's, it's not necessary yeah amen amen let's give God a, 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 a round of applause because it's a bit <laughs> amen amen I'm here to tell you you will get married you will have your child you will get your driver's license. You will be a great man or woman of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Because <laughs> I can see some people are like, uh, <laughs> yeah, some things need to be said, yeah. But God is really amazing. Don't be afraid. He's really, really loving. Amen. So for anyone who is sick here, for anyone who, who is sick in the body, sick anywhere, I'm just saying right now, Jesus is saying, receive your healing. Receive your healing because by his stripes we are healed. I'm just hearing the Holy Spirit saying that right now. I don't know, maybe you've been sick for a while and you don't know what to do. The doctors have been telling you that it's over. Or they're saying that, ah, uh, we weten het even niet. We moeten het even afwachten. Maar God is saying, no, it's not over. God is saying, no, it's not over. God is saying, no, it's not over. Ah, are you not believing what he's saying? You are healed by his stripes. Amen. 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 Speak the word. Speak the promises. When you speak every day, you will be a different person in the name of Jesus. I want us all to get up. Please, get up. Yes. Yes. I want us to pray. And I want us to pray and commit ourselves into God's hands. 
I want to pray and I want us to pray about anything that is trying to keep you down. That is trying to... Is wat, wat uh, jou probeert om laag te halen. Je weet, God heeft het over jou gezegd, maar je, je, je durft niet. Je, 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 je denkt, nee, wat gaan mensen van mij zeggen? No, we are going to pray and break those things right now. I'm not done with the sermon, I feel like I need to do this. We are going to break those chains right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray, let's pray. If you can speak in the language of... Please pray. 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 In the name of Jesus, Father. In the name of Jesus. Yes, pray, 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 pray. Don't look at me. Pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We break those chains. We break those chains. We break those chains. No more. No more. We will sit down. No more we will sit down. No more we will cry. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Break those things. Break those things. Declare it over your life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You, you may have your seat. You may have your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm almost at the end of the sermon. And I know that Pastor John, he used to say, the greatest miracle is not healing the sick, raising people out of the dead, but the greatest miracle is pulling souls out of the darkness. <laughs> yes, that is the greatest miracle. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Some of us, we weren't born in the church. Some of us, maybe a few months ago, we were just in the club doing other things. But now you're here. Amazing. You know? So I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that after today, we will make it a point that it's not about us anymore. Yes, we can pray about our needs. Yes, we can tell our problems to God. But we will also think further than that. We will pray and for others. We will intercede for others. We will think about our family members. Because we know that for me, for instance, not all my family, family members are saved. So Jesus is coming back soon. It can be today, even right now. Where are they going? Let's not be selfish, guys. This is really important. So from now on, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that whenever we are praying, we are not praying about ourselves anymore. We are also praying for other people, our friends, our family members, our neighbors, in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, let's get up and thank God for his word. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Yes, we are going to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Let's pray and thank you for this wonderful word, oh God. Ah, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, Father, for speaking to us today. Father, Lord God, we are grateful that your presence is here. Father, Lord God, we pray and we thank you. We give you all the praise, Father. Father, we know that whenever you speak, it doesn't go void. Father, we know, Father, you have touched each and one of us, Father. You have touch us today, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, Father, you are great. You are amazing. Father, thank you for touching our lives today. Father, we know that you alone, you alone, you alone can do it. Nobody else, Father. We acknowledge you today, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let, 
Let's pray and commit our family members into God's hands. As I just mentioned, we are saved by the grace of God, but we also have other people around us who are not benefiting from the promises of God. We are praying and committing our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, even the lukewarmers. Uh, we are praying that we will give their lives to Christ. And let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray and commit our family members into your hands, Father. Our friends. Our neighbors, even people in the church, Father, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will touch them right now. As we are praying right now, Lord God, touch them. Touch them, oh God, touch them. Father, touch them because we know the time is short. The time is short, Father. Touch our family members, oh God. Touch our family members, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Ah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Rosa kita na ba? We are going to pray for boldness and courage. We need it. We need it. We are not made to be timid. We are not made to sit down ah, and watch Jesus. other people. Ah. We are made to be active. Yeah. We are made to do the word of God. Yeah. We are yeah. made to win souls for Christ. Yeah. Tonight, tonight, today, we are going to pray for ourselves to be bold. We are also going to pray for the, the one next to you. Pray for boldness. Yes. We need boldness, guys. We are not afraid to spread the gospel, to spread the good news. Whenever we go out, we will speak. We will speak. We will speak. Pray, 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 pray. But we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for boldness, Father. We don't want to be ashamed of the gospel, Father. We don't want to be ashamed for the gospel of God. But we are going out into the world. We are being unleashed, Father. We are being unleashed, oh God. We are being unleashed, oh God. Ah, Lord God, touch us in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Boldness. Boldness. Bold. Bold. Yes. We are bold in the name of Jesus. We are bold. I want us here to be, to be silent, please. God is here. God is here. His word says whenever two or three people are gathered together in his name, that his presence is here. Ah, he is here. He is here. Close your eyes, please. Maybe you're here like, ah, I'm, I've been going to church every Sunday, but am I really saved? Maybe you've been coming to church every Sunday, but you don't even know if you're saved because you are still in a lifestyle that is in contrary to God's word. God is saying, I am here, child. I am here, child. Don't be afraid. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. I love you. I love you. I don't ask for signing out there. Continue to pray.
that depression you are coming out of that darkness you are coming out you are coming out you are coming out you are coming out God is restoring everything that the locust has eaten God is pouring his spirit upon you you shall not be ashamed you shall not be ashamed you shall not be ashamed in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As our dignity is saying, don't give up. Am I, there might be people here you have given up on your calling. You have given up on that dream. But the word was, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. There are people who are counting on you. There are people who are counting on you. You have been silent for too long. God has sent you for a reason. I just want us to hold hands right now. Hold hands right now. Hold hands. And I want our dickness. Where is she? Hello. Listen, the Spirit of God that raised Christ Jesus from the dead, He is here. Amen. And the Bible tells us that. If you receive that spirit of God, it will quicken your mortal body. So what we are doing right now, as we are holding hands, <laughs> we are charging each other. Yes. We are charging each other. Yes. We are charging each other. Yes. We are charging. Any gift that you have received Jesus. from God, it doesn't matter how far or how low you have gone. Mm. The Bible tells us that God himself became a man. And he became low so that you can become high <laughs> in yes. him. So he is here. Thank you, Lord. He is here. Thank you, Jesus. So what we are going to do is we are going to do a, 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 earnest, a heartfelt prayer. Mm. A heartfelt prayer. Mm. And we are going to pray for the neighbor that you have on your right and the neighbor you have on your left. So for one minute, I want you just to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. That we are we are charging each other. We are charging every gift, any grace, any gift that is in the person. We are charging it. We are charging it. God is not down with you. 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 God is not Ah, 
Holy Ghost fire is in this place in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus ah, the presence of God is here today the presence of God is here today ah, Jesus, Lord God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, and I commit each and ah, even. Yes, Lord. Father, Lord God, I pray and commit everyone into your hands today in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, I commit this, their mind, their souls, their body, everything into your hands, Lord. Amen. Father, Lord God, you know them. Father, you know them. Father, you knew them before they were in the mother's womb. Amen. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will bless them. Anyone who is here who is going through tribulations, Father, I pray, Lord God, that you will change their situation right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, they will live for you. They will live for you, oh God. They will live for you, oh God. Ah, today they have decided to live for you, oh God. No more the past. They're looking forward, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus, if you're here today, if you're here today, uh, if you're here today and you don't know this Jesus that we are talking about, he's calling you right now. He's calling you right now. He loves you so much and he wanted you to be here. He wants to use you for his glory. He wants you to prosper. If you're here and you haven't received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please don't let today pass by. Don't look at your friends sitting next to you. Because we don't know when Jesus is coming back. This is the hour. This is the minute. This is the moment. If you're here and even doubting, shall I go? Please raise up your hand. And I'll pray with you. If you're here and maybe you've given your life to Christ, but it's still lukewarmish, raise up your hand. He is calling you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, raise up your hand as high as you can. Please, the ushers, you can lose your hands and then, yes, yes, hallelujah. Yes, let's give them a praise. Let's, yes, thank Jesus. Yes. yes, Lord. If the choir can help me. Ah. Yes, yes, thank 
you, Jesus. He is calling you right now. This is the day that the Lord has made. He says, my daughter, my son, I called you to be here today. Yes. Ah. We hold in nothing. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We hold in nothing. We hold. There's still room to come forward. Yes, close our eyes, please. If you want to give your life to Christ, it's a beautiful thing. You can have a sweet relationship with God. Yes, please continue to sing. Yes. With holding nothing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. With holding nothing. Yes. There's still room to come forward. He is calling you today. If only you believe and take that bold step. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. He is calling you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Is that you over there? Is that you, my sister? Is that you, my brother? I know you came here to meet Jesus. And he is saying, I am here for you. I am here for you. I can feel someone who is doubting right now. Don't doubt. And I'm not withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. There are more. I can feel more. Jesus. Let me just make one thing clear. I'm becoming emotional because, not because I'm sad, but because if you knew, if you knew, if you could feel how God thinks of you and I, He's not looking at you like this. He's looking at you like this. Come. People will look at you and remember you from the old days. Let them think we don't care. God knows your heart and he knows that you really want to change. But you cannot do it on your own. So one minute left. We still have room to pray with you so that we can be one family and win souls for Christ. Yes, choir. Yeah. I surrender. Yes, yes, Lord. We surrender, Lord. We surrender to you, O oh Father. We surrender unto you, Father. This is not a joke. This is real business, Father. We cannot do this on our own, Lord. We surrender everything unto you, Lord. Only you deserve all the glory and all the honor. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I would like the people who are standing in the front to raise up their hands. Let's just do it with them, please. Let's raise up our hands as a sign of surrenderance. Yeah, because we cannot do this on our own. Let's close our eyes. And the ones who are st uh, standing in front of me, please say this after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. And thank you for your promises. Thank you for your promises. Lord, I believe that you died for me. Lord, I believe that you died for me. And therefore, your death is my death. And, therefore your, death is my and death. your resurrection is my resurrection. And your, resurrection and your ascension is my ascension. And your ascension is my ascension. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I 
accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come and live in my heart. Come and live in my heart. Holy Spirit, fill me. 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 With everything you have for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. There's a party in heaven right now because of this.